Welcome everyone to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to give you information about healthy living and to feature people who can help you achieve a healthy living lifestyle. Today our special guests are Dr. Dana Hollinsworth and Dr. Eric Russell, members of the very, very fine, outstanding Parker University faculty. So give us a little bit about your, your backgrounds and how you, you came to be at Parker University. Dr. Hollingsworth, can we start with you? Sure. Thank you for having me today. Um, I actually am a Parker graduate, graduated back in 2010, and uh, went out and practiced in Washington State, then moved to Illinois, had private practice in Illinois um, with my husband, who's also a graduate from here. And uh, I don't detect the Texas accent. No. We're coming to you today from Parker University <laughs> campus in Dallas, just to give you a context here. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, Dr. Hollingsworth, go right ahead. Uh, northwest suburbs of Chicago. Very good. Started picking up y'all since I moved down here. I, you, <laughs> you know, the, the plural of y'all. All y'all? All y'all. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> See, she's learned already. Very good, Dr. Hollingsworth. Very Thank good. You. Excellent. Dr. Russell, you've been here f a few more years than Dr. Hollingsworth. Is that yes, right? and this is my second tour of Parker University. The second tour. Yes. That's right. You were away for a while. There was a hiatus in, in your career here. Yes. Right? Um, my background, real briefly, is this is my 20th year in chiropractic. I graduated in 1996 from a different chiropractic school. And then I had, had five years of private practice in Illinois, and then my wife got her PhD, and we moved to Commerce, Texas. Mm. And uh, she started at the university there, and I started to practice. And around 2008, I got an invitation to apply um, for a position of teaching chiropractic philosophy. And it was just right up my alley. This was yeah. something I didn't plan on doing in my career, but it felt like a great thing. So I started at Parker in 2008 uh, until 2011. And I taught full time, and I kept my practice open part time during that time. And I left briefly to uh, go to the other side of the world, and was president of a of a chiropractic institution, and came back um, about three years ago. So I've been back for three years, and I'm the current department chair of chiropractic sciences. So the business classes, the philosophy classes, and technique classes, and the four sensing table, which we'll get into, is underneath my department. Very good. Well, I can say from my own experience here, <laughs> observing our students, that uh, Dr. Russell is one of the most popular professors here at the university. We have good people here, so it's a really easy to work with people, and I think the good students make, uh, make it worthwhile. Absolutely. We have excellent students here, which complement our faculty. It makes it easy for yeah. both parties to, to work together to the benefit of our students and preparing them for a, a career that is unparalleled in chiropractic. But we do have this new technique, this new device that we're using to assist our students and faculty in learning the art of chiropractic, the Force Sensing Technology Table, the FSTT. Yes. Dr. Russell, tell us a little bit about that. You know, this is something that, you know, I've taught uh, chiropractic technique for a while, and, and a little bit of background is um, Dr. Ashley Cleveland, the Vice President of Parker University, she came to me and said, we want you to go up and see this technology and this table that measures outputs of the adjusting thrust on, you know, on a table that registers and gives feedback to students, and it's at CMCC at the time. And I was like... And tell us what CMCC uh, is. That's Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College. Right. And uh, Dr. Jay Chirano is the developer of the table, and that's where he was teaching and had a position. So part of me was like, yeah, I'll go. Hey, it's cool. It's a trip to Canada. It's a trip to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I like poutine. I always talk about food on these podcasts. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, poutine, this sounds good. And we, mm -hmm. I got to take two of my faculty with me. And, but I was convinced at the time, Dr. Zucker, there's no way a table can teach technique better than I could. Right. You know, and, and I taught the way I learned, and I was really hands confident, hands-on. Hands on. Right. Doing things like I'd put my hand on the patient and have the student contact my hand so I could feel the amount of force that they're pushing with. Mm -hmm. And I would put my arm around the student and say, let's move this way. Let's move this way. And we went up to the table, and um, it was Dr. Dave Starmer runs the lab there, and he's an awesome person to work with. And just in 10 minutes knew, this table's awesome. This we need this. Yes. Yeah. And I know that... Um, Dr. Dr. Dealey, who was a member of the Board of Trustees at the time, was really instrumental in, in help getting the, the first table here. That's right. And it's kind of, it's a really a big paradigm shift because we were all taught traditionally in chiropractic the way that I described, either thrusting on tires or those drop boards or practicing on each other. And you would kind of get feedback. I can watch you and tell you what I think you're doing sure. wrong, but there's no measurable outputs right. of what you're doing. Very subjective. So the... The students at CMCC that were just initial students, they were actually adjusting at a high level. 
just from the own feedback. So the table, what it does is it measures outputs of force in three different vectors. So it's X, Y, and Z on a graph. So if you have a patient laying on their stomach, X is going to be side to side, Y is going to be from their feet to their head, and Z is going to be towards the floor. So the majority of our thrust is in the Z direction, but mm -hmm. there's also the X and Y components that are in there. This table, when you give an adjustment on a simulation mannequin, measures all three of those axis outputs. Hmm. So you can measure it, and now we know what those criteria are and what those ranges are. So when the students adjust, they actually have the adjustment, they see their outputs on a graph, and then they have like a 15 second tape delay. Oh, it's tape, it's actually digital. But right. it's, they get to see visually what they did. So they get much richer feedback, very active feedback. and. And then there's someone in the lab that gives them tips if they're having a struggle, and that's where Dr. Hollinsworth comes in. She runs the force sensing table lab for us here at Parker. So it's through that process that we brought this, and it's a game changer in chiropractic, and it's definitely something we've given tours of prospective students, and we can get oh, yeah. them at a certain level, a really good level, within about 15 minutes that would have taken a lot longer had we done it traditionally. So that's right. the background of it, but it's something that I'm super proud that Parker has. Parker's invested in it to help further the education of our students, and right. it is phenomenal. Now, were we the, the first of the lower 48 states to have? No, we're actually the third. third. Yes, yes. There's, the CMC developed it, and they have quite a few, and there's two other chiropractic institutions, but I keep telling prospective students, we're the only one in a warm climate. In a has, warm climate, yes. so that's <laughs> this is true. a one's, major factor. Absolutely, one's in Minnesota and the other one's in uh, Buffalo, New York, so okay. yeah, it's it's nice to have it in a warm climate. So we could use it outdoors here if we wanted to. Right? You could, but, <laughs> but we prefer difficult. to keep it, yeah, the computers and stuff inside. Right, right. Well, Dr. Hollinsworth, you're in charge of the, of the laboratory with the FSTT yes. uh, ensconced. Give us a little bit of, of your perspective on how this works with the faculty and the students and what it means to them. It's been pretty amazing. Um, the biggest benefit I've seen is so far as students that come in, uh, we have full spine adjusting lab, try five, six, and seven. Mm -hmm. And uh, those students, if they're having a problem, especially with prone thoracic adjustments, mm -hmm. the faculty have been bringing them down to the force sensing lab. We spend, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes working on um, their preload, how much force are they putting into the patient before their thrust, the amount of force they're putting in with their thrust, and then how fast are they actually thrusting. Mm -hmm. So we're getting that output on the screen. They can see it real-time feedback. See it real-time. Well, 15-second yep. delay. The delay, yeah. but, but it's there while they're it's actually there. doing it. Yeah, so if you're dipping off here or your speed's a little too slow, you see it, we give them some things to work on to correct it, and then um, by the time they leave that lab and go back down to the adjusting lab, I've had them come run back down the hallway and say, I got it for the first time. I've been working yes. on this for a so long time. So that's got to be a great thing to observe, just yeah. to see the students get it. There's yeah. nothing better than that in teaching. Yeah, and then uh, the, we're bringing them in try one to start teaching them the psychomotor skills behind the adjustment. Um, I think there's a lot to be said for just like if you want to train to be an excellent golfer, you need to take a good golf lesson from day one, that's make right. sure that you've got... It started right. Mm -hmm. So right. we try to get them in try one and... Just show them the basics, the biomechanics of their body behind the adjustment before they... So um, first and foremost, it's an it's a academic tool right. that we use that helps students become better adjusters. And they're there from day one, trimester one, they spend time on the table, and it's integrated up until they go into our clinic. So from try one through try seven, they have mandatory time on that table that they come in and train. Plus, we also offer open lab times at lunch times and before and after school for students to come in. So they can supplement yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Time. So we've also used the, the force sensing table to start doing some, um, one of our classes is using it as a form of test. That basically, mm. you know, if we're going to, the traditional way of teaching chiropractic philosophy is can you pose correctly? Is your hands in the right place and your body's in the right mm -hmm. place? Are you standing on the right side? Then that's the grade that you get. And now we're starting to change some of our grading to can you deliver an effective output? Yeah. Yeah, so they had done a pilot study last trimester where Dr. Armstrong and Dr. Hollinsworth were bringing in students for our Diversified 2 class, and part of their lab practical was delivering within a certain range of, of force outputs on the Excellent. mannequin. Excellent. Yes, and then we started doing research around the table too, so the amount of, it's fully integrated, and the possibilities for this force sensing table, there's academic outputs, there are research outputs. There's 
it's just and just transformational teaching opportunities for that table has just been phenomenal. Yeah. Well, it, it really is a remarkable tool. I've seen it in action myself. Not being a chiropractor, I haven't really put my hands on the, the device itself, but I've seen the, the, the light go on in the eyes of our alumni who come in to have a chance to, to use the device. And I'm sure they're saying, why didn't we have this when I was here? Yes. And That's you all may I be say. saying the same thing, right? And you're right to, to mention the Dealies, uh, Dr. John and Nikki Dealey, who were instrumental in getting the device to us initially from the board of directors here at Parker University. We certainly send our thanks out to them. And we also have another uh, program going on supported by the Alumni Association Board of Directors. Dr. Jared Browning was, was here on the program not long ago talking about their efforts to raise funds for a second FSTT. Yes. You know, I think my vision, I'm going to be pretty bold here. And of course, no one knows I'm going to say this since it's a podcast. I'll just announce it and then we'll they'll have to figure out how to make this happen. Right. But ideally, we would like to have three four sensing tables. We have, you know, over 700, 800 students. That's right. You know, in our, and it's our, growing. And it's growing in our DC program. And we have one table. So the time commitment and scheduling commitment. So with three tables in that lab, we can, many more students can have an opportunity right. to develop at the same time. Ideally, I would also like to have a table in each technique room long term. So the way to train a student is, are you safe? Are you setting up your hands in the right place? Now let's see your outputs on the table. Now that we know you can, you're setting up correctly and you're delivering the right force, now let's start working on a human being right. that, that breathes and resists. So right. that would be the natural tra uh, you know, progression of teaching a student that that would be ideal and optimal. So that's our lo crazy long-term vision of the tables. But, you know, one table, we need a second. Start somewhere. Yes, absolutely. And we desperately need it. And if there are donors out there watching the program who would be interested in coming in to see the table, contact us, contact me, Dr. Russell, Dr. Hollinsworth. Happy to give you a demonstration because it really is an investment in the future of the profession, the university, and the students and faculty who work with this device every day. And you think about a potential donor as a chiropractor, if you come in, if you're going to hire an associate, if you as the chiropractor gives a thoracic adjustment on someone, wouldn't it be cool to know that your associate is also trained to deliver the exact same force that you are? Absolutely. I mean, this is the stuff that we can do, that we can say, you know, here's Dr. Eric Russell's or here's Dr. Dana's Hollingsworth thrust. And if I was training you and I was going to hire you, then I want you to produce this output because this is what I this think is what is, we want. Yes. And then there's also what is the most effective clinically, you know, that, that we're trying to start to look at too. There's some research going out is what's the most effective force dose on a human being to get the most optimal clinical outputs. Right. So the research possibilities are remarkable they as are. well. Yes. And that's one of the things, of course, at the university we're always thinking about is research, how we can improve our technique, how we can improve the teaching devices that we use. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. <clears throat> now, there will be an opportunity coming up for people who would like to visit the campus and see this device. The Parker Dallas Seminar coming up October 13 through 16, right here on the campus. It's going to be homecoming. It's going to be the seminar with a wonderful, a wonderful array of speakers, presentations, and an opportunity for people to actually see the table. Yes. Tell us about that, Dr. Russell. Um, I know that I, during my presentation at Parker Seminars, I'm going to give a chance to talk about the ideal chiropractor and, and one of the things that's important for chiropractors, delivering a great chiropractic adjustment. And I'm going to briefly show people the force sensing table and a little video of how it is in action. But we also have the force sensing table that will be open for tours and for people to stop by and demonstrations as well. So there's a lot of opportunity for you to get your hands on it. You know, as chiropractors, we love our hands on things. You know, quit showing me a picture. Let me right. touch it and let me play with it. So we'll have opportunities for people to come in and see the table in action. And, and our experience has been, and you can add to it, Dr. Hollinsworth, is when, a, when someone sees it and they see the power of it, they're like, oh, I get it. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely get it. Has that been your experience, Dr. Hollinsworth? People yeah. can sort of have that yeah. uh, eye-opening epiphany experience with the they, they usually say the mannequin doesn't feel exactly like a person but it doesn't and that's okay and the neat thing is that that what we've measured on a person laying on the table matches what we're asking students to meet on the mannequin right so it's a much more comfortable way to learn how to adjust than to practice on your classmate time right. after time after right. time absolutely. under supervision <laughs> under supervision <laughs> under supervision that's important <laughs> to keep that in mind absolutely 
Well, I want to thank you both for being here today on To Your Health. It's really been great to hear about this remarkable device that we have here at Park University and to perhaps engender some interest in those out there who'd like to see it, see it in action, and perhaps support the, the project of bringing more of those devices to the table. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you and Parker University for being so forward thinking for championing this technology on campus because it is a true game changer for students on how they learn how to adjust. Well, we're happy to do that and that's part of our job to be here to make sure you have the resources you need to teach our students. Well, join us again for another edition of To Your Health. We'd be happy to have you come back. So take care. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <music>